CASA stands for Campus Against Sexual Assault. It is a U.S. Department of Justice Office of Violence Against Women Act grant. It aligns with the purpose that Western has to have a safe environment so students can fulfill their purpose of being here to get their education. One of the requirements of the Campus Against Sexual Assault program is to have an education piece of it. So we worked with the theater department and had a wonderful instructor, Ted D. Chalet. He worked with his improvisational class to create scenes, vignettes, that were specific to Western. We developed eight different vignettes. The students created each of the scenes the WU support team are all the people on campus that are there to support students. So the Dean of Students was there, the Director of Public Safety who brought in the Monmouth Police will, and the Polk County DA. The there the is the Director of the Student Health and Counseling Center and, and the Director of Abby's House. Then yet one is about stalking. This scene takes place mean? between a male student Reading? who ended Reading? a relationship with a Just girlfriend that he'd had of three years, and she really struggles with how that ends and continues to stalk Luke. Are you following me? No, I'm not following you. <laughs> okay, well, I just posted on Facebook that I was going to be here studying. Just came to the library. Vignette 2 is about sexual assault. Lana goes to an off-campus party. She wakes up the next morning naked, sleeping on the floor with a male friend. She has no idea how she gets there. Should we go to the police? No. What am I gonna tell them? I don't, I don't remember anything. Vignette 3 is about after a party. The vignette is composed of two he said, she said scenes. If you listen to the male version, it's quite different than the female's version. And the young woman becomes quite upset when she finds out about what the male is saying about her. Jake overheard the guys talking in the locker room and Mike just, we made it sound a little different. Different, like he. He just made it seem like you wanted it. Vignette four is about intimate partner violence. A young man and a young woman have been in a relationship for about six months. When he shows up at her apartment five minutes late, she yells at him, they argue. She shoves him and slaps him inappropriately. You don't say those things to me, John. Vignette five takes place in a restaurant. Three football players arrive at the restaurant. They are traveling with the Wu football team. One of the three is very loud and Keep becomes place. obnoxious Keep toward place. two of the female Sorry. weight people. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Uh, we were wondering if there was anything to do around here. We're kind of stuck here for the night, and uh, we could use a little entertainment. Vignette 6 is two students in a study abroad scene. The scene takes place in a coffee shop in Italy. The female student is very upset, and the male student is trying to help her understand what just happened. The male American student tries to explain that American women are often seen in other countries as being flirtatious and very loose and that she was really lucky that nothing more serious happened. You're getting to know him probably? Small talk, yeah. Like telling him what you're studying and where you're going to school and stuff? Yeah, it came up, but... Tell him where you live? No, I didn't. I didn't like tell him what house I lived at. I might have said maybe the street name or something, but not mm. like. And then after all this, you told him you have a boyfriend? Yeah, because he was acting weird. Vignette seven 
is between two international students. You know, this mafia? scene takes okay. place in a dorm <laughs> room. The son, Pacino, a male American student a invites fun, a Korean female student to his to room to watch oh, a movie. When the female student yeah. arrives and they it's begin good. to talk, it's really and it's quickly clear yeah, to the female like Korean student yeah. that she misunderstood what the yeah, meaning to watch a movie me. is in the yeah. United States. Uh, What's wrong? What are you doing? I was trying to kiss you. <laughs> I know, but you told me we'll watch a movie. <laughs> Listen, Soon Young, I like you a lot. And I thought maybe you liked me too. Vignette 8 is an LBGTQ conversation. Kayla, who's an no, open no, lesbian, no, has been like harassed for several weeks it. by a male on campus kind of who wants you to know, make her yeah. straight. She goes to Abby's house to try to get some help. The okay. Abby's house advocate provides a very good well, listening know, ear, helps Kayla determine a plan to be it. safe. The final okay. interview scene with it's Kayla sure. shows that she is raped by the and male so staring, uh, while on campus, and she is place. now trying to work through the system to have him arrested. And it just sort of hit me that that had happened. It had just all seemed very, uh, I don't know, just not, not real. Just So I left and just, because I knew I wanted to report it. The eight vignettes are so not right, meant to re-traumatize anyone or be unpleasant. They yeah. are meant to increase yeah. awareness and understanding of a very serious topic that each of us would like to believe don't exist in this world, but they do, and we can be impacted in a variety of ways. The goal of the CASA Sexual Misconduct Education Program is to increase awareness and understanding of the sexual assault issues and provide resources and support for faculty, staff, and students here at Western Oregon University.